And we have to find now uh, where the common ground can be uh, between, on the one hand, the proposals of the Council and on the other hand, the, I think, very legitimate desires and requests of the European Parliament. And that's what uh, these uh, discussions are all about. Well, there's indeed a, a large majority within the Parliament that would like to see, uh, with respect to rule of law, a conditionality element built into uh, the mechanisms that uh, we are trying to get off the ground now. It's of course not part of the negotiations as such, uh, but uh, I mean scope of the negotiations, but it's of course an element that we would like to have introduced into the uh, uh, into the whole mechanism uh, that is now as well with respect to the recovery fund as with respect to the MFF is put in place. We are constructive, we are open, uh, we want to reach a, an agreement, but we want to reach a good agreement, not so much for the parliament as such, but for the European citizens. Own resources have been on the table, uh, so to speak, for decades within the European discussions. And now it's the moment to uh, tackle this more uh, in depth. Why? Because uh, we, these, uh, the funds that are the 750 billion that will be lent uh, to uh, make the resilient and recovery fund uh, facility a reality have to be repaid at one point in time. And we want to avoid a situation where when these repayments have to start, uh, that at that point in time there would not be resources to repay that debt, because then we would inevitably end in a situation where we would be talking cuts in major programs that are of vital importance for the European economy. And we certainly want uh, the, the, the amounts that are spent in a, in a very positive way in the flagship programs that they should be reinstated. Uh, on the own resources, uh, there needs to be progress. Uh, on, the rule, on the rule of law, there needs to be progress. And then there are uh, certain what, what we can call horizontal issues, like, for example, climate, uh, specific issues like the midterm revision uh, that are important for the parliament. So all these elements are on the table. We had a good discussion so far already today. And I'm pretty sure that in the coming uh, weeks we can continue that positive and constructive way of dialogue to reach an agreement where, as you know, the resolution of the Parliament says that the end of October is our deadline. Then we need to have a, a good agreement, not any agreement, a good agreement.